Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Uli Scholten, I'm part of the SkyRadio team and I welcome you to our webinar on the new SkyRadio Navigator. The Navigator is a visualization software for radar raw data. It provides a whole range of uh, scopes that we can actually work on. We can work with that system synchronously, meaning we get the data in real time and we work on it in real time or we just use recorded data. What you actually see now in this video is a filming of our one of our training rooms. We use that training room for our experimental setup. We placed the radio system into the middle and this radio system which is by the way the Sky Radio PSR is scanning that room. Eric produced that scan yesterday and he provided me the um, recorded file. As I'm offline, I'm not linked to any radio system now, I open that recorded file and I start working on it. <laughs> what you see here on the left side is our plan position indicator PPI. What you see on the right top side is an A-scope. What you see at the bottom right side is a B-scope. And on the bottom left side you even see a data monitor which is uh, monitoring raw data. You see here in my presentation the German version of the software. It also exists in English. On the top right side you see the configuration panel for the operator of the radio system. Here you can set the modulation, the bitrate, the AC output, ADC delay, the main start range and end range. You can even learn, meaning you can save the settings that we actually set here during that session. And you can even go one step further and install the session later to the APROM so that it can be used in later session. At the bottom line, we have the possibility to configure um, our measurement setting on the uh, current data that we have. We can even configure and set filters uh, on the recorded data. That's what we're going to do now. Huh? Um, what I'm going to do is I first filter out the null frames, which are the erratic frames that uh, might come through some erratic reflections. The secondly, um, I want to filter the basic clutter out. Yeah, I can set that here with the um, clutter um, elimination uh, bar and I just set it to some kind of 5%. <clears throat> I could also amplify the signals but here in a small room but that would not be necessary and I would create lots of clutter as you see in the new setting once I pull the um, the bar up. So I bring that back to zero. We also have a sensitive time constant here which I preset already to um, the square root. So let's have a look at our P uh, PPI scope first. You saw the room was pretty small um, so we don't need to uh, go up to 10 meters which is here preset. Uh, we also see here a circular um, signal which is the 
clutter and the reflection of the all, uh, of our radius source. So I want to eliminate that out and I also want to really focus on the objects that I have in my room. So let's do the following. Let's uh, say, okay, let's start at an, a distance of two meters. And let's say we want to stop at a distance of, let's say four meters. Just look what is, let's look at what is around our so our uh, radio system. So, let's see what he's gonna find. Oh, you see here there's already some objects appearing and if you look in the same time at the A-scope you will see the peaks whenever he uh, recognizes some of the objects. You see here a color scale where uh, we indicate the um, strength of the signals from, from minus dB to zero. <clears throat> I could blow up the PPI scope to only work, work on that. Um, as you see now, of course, it starts now cracking again. You see our objects here appear. You might want to look at the video afterwards and see whether you can actually make out what these objects here actually were. I double click again and get back to the overview screen. What you see here is the A scope. I can also blow it up. The nice thing is I can change the setting. This is now the <coughs> amplitude setting. Um, I could go to a phase visualization and I could also explicitly go to iData and QData. Going back to the amplitude. Another important scope is the B scope. We see it here. Let's blow it up again. The B scope can be also set to amplitude visualization. It can be set to phase, to iData and to QData. I also here have the possibility to set the scope settings, the signal strength, the distance, as I did it uh, in the PPI. I can even here change the <coughs> rotation mode of the engine, of the motor. <coughs> I could have it pivot, or I can keep it, keep it uh, as it's set here uh, um, in a rotary circular mode uh, while setting it from 0 to 360 degrees. Of course, this is blanked out now because I'm offline and I don't have the uh, rights to access the system. You can imagine if an endless amount of students or learners has access to that visualization tool in real time, we can only give the operating and control rights on the radio system to one person, which is normally the professor it's the person who can set this here. Sky Raider is providing for private users, for non-commercial users, this software free, free of charge. We have continuously set more um, recorded, recorded files of radar images with the videos into our website. Students, universities and test settings researchers, PhD students for instance, might download that software and work on it. If the university has our radio systems, the students can download that software, use their, their track which they produced during the day in the university, take it home and continue experimentation at home. You might use the data, connect it with uh, MATLAB and add additional filters and try to see how these filters improve the radio system. But first of all, if you're like us, amateurs of aviation, just download it, play around and enjoy and in the same time improve your proficiency.